as well as this being not very nice to go out in, it often means a big dump of plastics onto the beaches. Now, there's been a lot on the BBC at the minute about climate change and this bringing with it more frequent extreme weather events. So I want to show you guys exactly what happens when there's been a big storm and the amount of plastics that are dumped on the beach. So let's go have a look.
I'm back home now, lo and behold, the sun's suddenly come out and I was down on the beach in the wind and horrible weather, but there we go. I'm also quite tired now, you might hear it in my voice, having to carry that um, lobster pot and all the other rubbish back home on my own was not fun, but it's done now. So hopefully you were able to see how much more rubbish is dumped on the beach when it's stormy weather. And also it's quite different as well because usually there's not that many big bits, the lobster pot as well, that we don't find them very often. And on a lot of the rubbish as well, there was loads of stuff actually living on the plastics, which is obviously what my recent is based on so this would indicate that it's actually been in the sea for a longer time and it's needed the stormy weather to churn it out and bring it up on the beach which I guess is a good thing because it means that it's coming out of the ocean and I can then pick it up but um, so we've got one beach clean planned uh, coming up if you guys would like more beach cleans in response to this stormy weather please comment below and we will add some more in um, when there is particularly bad storms i've seen that watergate bay can be quite bad in the storms we will organize them in response but yeah if you just comment down below if you think that you want to come to more we'll organize those and we'll get those set up so keep an eye on the facebook page as well uh, other than that thank you so much for watching this week's tune in tuesday and i'll see you next week